His body was already as good as dead. Now that he was a hundred years old. And Sarah was unable to have children. Key point. He didn't doubt God's promise. Our lack of faith. Instead, giving honor to God for the promise. He became strong because of faith. And was absolutely confident that God would do what he promised. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. This is why his faith was regarded as God's approval of him. For the words, his faith was regarded as God's approval of him, was written not only for him, but for us also. Our faith will be regarded as God's approval of us, who believe in the one who brought Jesus, our Lord, back to life. Point number one, stay true to God. Amen. Stay true to God. There are a lot of distractions in the world. There's a lot of drum playing in the world. When you go home or go off from home to school on a trip or wherever you may journey, there's always going to be a new ideology. A new theology. But you should know within your heart who you belong to. Amen. You must realize that God is not a God that can not only see at night time, but he see in the night. Amen. This is true what is said. What's done in the dark. To come to light. You know, one thing I love about people you know, praise God, is if you listen long enough, they're going to tell you the truth. Amen. Amen. Somehow it slipped out. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. We have to realize you need to stay true to your faith. What you believe. Whatever you ask of God, stay focused. Think somebody say stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Whatever, whatever you have learned about God, stay rooted. <coughs> stay rooted. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Be true to self about your faith in God. In other words, you must not waver. Mm -hmm. You must stay true and rooted to God. Mm -hmm. When you allow the word doubt to come in your mind, mm -hmm. you hold dangerous ground. Amen. If you can allow people to talk you out of what you are supposed to do, then you're on dangerous ground. Amen. I love this here. Scripture says, when I was a child, I spoke as a child. I acted like a child. But wait a minute. When I became a man, I put away my child's name. In other words, I had to learn to think for myself. Look at somebody say, you got to think for yourself. You got to think for yourself. You can't rely on your buddy to always have your back. You got to learn to think for yourself to have your own back. Then you can have somebody else back. Oh, I wish I was talking to somebody else. First of all, you got to understand this morning, what is your faith in God? If I can talk you out of being true to your God, then you never had a God. All right. Amen. All right. Point number two, stay focused to the vision. Stay focused to the vision. You know, I love this here. When God talks to you, he talks to you. Amen. Uh-oh, somebody missed that. When God talks to you, he talks to you. Oh, yeah. Amen. So what are you saying, Bridget? In other words, I don't need to hear what Evangelist Reed really got to tell me. All right. Amen. Amen. He talked or spoke to me. All right. If he wanted to hear it again, he would have called it over. <laughs> Amen. But he didn't call. 
called her over. He only spoke to me. Whatever God has called you to do, he spoke to you. Amen. You looking for confirmation from somebody else whom God has not spoken to. Your confirmation is approved by the way God directs your path. I love this here. What we gonna do? Who you gonna do? I don't know. What you gonna do? You know that going all day. Eventually, somebody is gonna have to take the bull by the horn. Hello, somebody. I've been trying to praise God. You get on a date. If you're married, you get on a date too. Take your high and your wife on a date. They first laid on date. And she has not changed out of 40 some odd years. Yeah, they would have gone today. I don't know what you're going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, man, we the little kids that we pan around with it. Oh, what you want? What you want? What you want? What you want? And finally she said, whatever you want. And I look at it and I said, that ain't no girl. I didn't know what I want. That's why I was asking you. And I'm gonna tell you went through that road with someone. You know, you can get into that. But God has no time for that. God should understand what it is that you need. If you don't know what you need, then you shouldn't be opening your mouth about needing anything. You gotta stay focused to the, to the vision. Dreams and visions are from God. He tells you, he directs. He has his own way of communicating with you and you alone. This is the reason why when you have a problem, you shouldn't go around telling everybody your problem. You ought to talk to God about your problem. Amen. And God will direct you to somebody who's got your personal need or your personal affection in their heart. This is the reason why you're walking around talking to everybody and you say, that's my best friend. But what you fail to realize, even your best friend has a best friend. May not be you. Amen. Stay focused. This is what I want to do. When you graduate or getting ready to graduate from school, you shouldn't wait till you walk across the stage and say, I don't know what I'm going to do. You should already have planned in the 10th grade what you're going to do or want to do. This is why we have so many people changing up their majors, changing up their lives because they don't know what they want to do. They're not focused. They don't stay true to the game plan. I can tell you without any hesitation, when bills are due, they are due. I love this here, praise God. We work for that majestic age when we can retire. Uh -huh. I got any retired folks here? Uh -huh. Do I have any retired people here who bills retired? Uh -huh. <laughs> wouldn't have been nice, praise God, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. But the bills keep right on coming. Yeah. They don't retire. Uh -huh. So therefore, you need to have a plan on a of what you're going to do. If, if there's no shame, and I'm going to tell you right now to your face, you heard it from me, there's no shame working at Burger King, McDonald's, and Hard. Uh -huh. There's no shame. All right now. What is a shame is robbing a bank and crashing the car before you cash the money. Okay. <laughs> Are you listening to me? Amen. Whatever you do, your dream, to make your dream come through, make it happen. <laughs> if you got to work at McDonald's, Burger King, or whatever, uh, while you attend night school, day school, whatever you can do, you keep focused to the dream. All right. Why? Because God is faithful to those who he called. Yeah. Gotta have a plan. Think somebody said, you need a plan. You need a plan. Yeah. For the three. Do unity versus talking unity. Do unity versus talking.
talk in unity. Make the dream of vision come to pass by action. In other words, faith without works. You got to work on it. Talk is what? Cheap. Cheap. I love it. I can go back to my hometown, even today, and I can find a few of my friends who are still living. And they're in the same spot I left them at when I left them. And they all will say the same thing. I'm going to do something. <laughs> I'm going to do something. Harold, just as great as mine, still yet going to do something. Time waits on no one. Somebody better look at this. You got to work to make your dreams come true. You have to be faithful to yourself. All right. Faithfulness simply means that you are faithful at what you do. There's no shame in honest work. Amen. Which I have a witness. Amen. Abraham. Had spoken to Jesus a long time ago. When he came and visited Abraham, the three angels at one. And then made a promise to Abraham. The promise was by this time next year, mm -hmm. you will have a son. Uh -huh. Abraham was almost a hundred years old. Sarah was right close behind. Nine. And they too will say to themselves, we are old. And I don't see how this is going to happen. Somebody ought to talk to me. But isn't it wonderful for you to know today and let me encourage your heart today. God has a way of making the possible out of the impossible. Amen. Sometimes you don't see it coming. That's why you keep on working. The promise was made to Abraham. Before the law was given to Moses, Abraham was given a promise. You go out. You will be blessed. Then he sit there and told me, said, I will make you a great nation. I'll bless you. I'll make your name great. And you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. And I will curse him who curses you. And in your family, and in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Amen. Abraham was given a promise. Amen. You and I, too, was given a promise. Yeah. I will never leave you, yeah. nor forsake you. Yeah. Time may be hard, but I'll be right there. Yeah. Time may be troublesome, mm -hmm. but I'll be right there. Mm -hmm. In all your ways, acknowledge me. I would direct you. Yes. Yes, Somebody ought to be praying with me. Yes. Sometimes I can't see what the end's going to be. Mm -hmm. But that's when God said, hold on mm -hmm. to my unchanging hand. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. God intended to give men a title mm -hmm. to the promised blessings. Mm -hmm. So he afforded it by faith. What is faith? Let's look at that now. In the ESV version, says, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. The good word translation says, Faith assures us of things we expect and convinces us of the existence of things we cannot see. All right. New King James Version say, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The others of things not seen. But you must have faith. faith. Mm -hmm. You cannot be faithful if you have no faith. Mm -hmm. You but if you have faith as a sign of a must to see. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Amen. Right. Amen. You gotta have a little faith. Yes. I don't know when. Mm -hmm. I don't know where. I don't know how, but I know God. Yes, 
Amen. 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 Yes. God was blessed because it was his grace. Yes. To make sure to all who have the faith like Abraham, whether they be Jew, Gentile, black, white, Asian, whatever would be blessed. Because if you believe on the Son, tell mm -hmm. somebody. Amen. Look at somebody and tell them, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Now look at somebody around and say, I'm blessed and highly favored. I'm blessed and highly favored. Amen. I'm nothing special. There's nothing unique about me. All you need to know is I'm blessed. Amen. 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 I don't look to the government for my blessings. I don't look for somebody else to give me my blessings. Amen. I know where my blessings come from. Amen. I'm not always right. Amen. I'm not always correct. Right. But I know where my blessings come from. Amen. 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 <laughs> True. John 16, 33 says, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulations, but be of good cheer. Amen. I have overcome the world. The strength of faith will have victory over fears. If you are afraid to try, then you've already lost. If you are afraid to move, then you've already lost. All right now. You cannot say, I want a job. All right. And stay at home. You cannot say, I want to go to school. Mm -hmm. And never apply. And never apply. Your faith moves you to believe and expect you're going to receive what you ask for. Amen. Hmm. God is faithful. Yes. yes. Great is thy faithfulness. Yes. God honors faith. Uh -huh. And great faith honors God. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on, somebody. Do you have great faith? Amen. Amen. Faith is the grace that all others give glory to God. When praises go up, yes. when praises go up, yes. when praises go up, yes. blessings come down. Jesus. Faith clearly Thank is the you. instrument by which we receive the righteousness of God by the redemption of Jesus who died for us. Amen. Hebrews 10 23 tells us, say, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. If God called you, he equipped you. Hello, somebody. Yes. See, right. see, 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 a lot of times, God said, I want you to use the gift that I gave you. Yes. But you were too afraid to use the gift that God gave you. All right. You were afraid about how other people are going to look at you. Mm -hmm. You were afraid of how other people are going to talk about you. And that black man got a heaven and hell to put you into. You ought to be concerned about not what they can do to you, but the one who can kill the body and the soul. Amen. Amen. That's right. what God thinks about you. That's right, Pastor. Amen. I love this here. Amen. We need a good choir. Yeah. <laughs> Come to the choir, Pastor. That's right. That's right. We need a big church. Pay some time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh -huh. See, we don't need no doubters. Unity stick means we step together. Unity means we must step together. We step together under the faithfulness of God. Amen. Wherever He leads me, I follow. Uh -huh. First of all, something Jesus says: uh, "You build, you plant, near cut." Are you listening to me? Uh -huh. There are something unique about the promises of God. First John 1 John 1.9 says, If we confess our sins, uh -huh. he is faithful and just to forgive us. Thank you, Jesus. Our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Thank you. I love that. Thank you. If God. we confess your sins, yes. 
If we confess your sins, it'll be all right. No. Mm -mm. If you confess your sins, Hallelujah. you've got to come clean with God. Amen. Talk to God. When we fall short of the promises we made to God, he still loves us. When we fall short of doing what God called us to do, he still cares for us. Second Timothy 2.13 says, if we are faithless, he remains faithful. For he cannot deny himself. God does things a lot of times people don't understand. It's not because of you. It's because of his word. It's because of his word. He takes care of us regardless of how ugly we are, how mean we are. Amen. Not because he loves you more than he loves someone else. It's because of his word. Amen. Mm. Amen. Deuteronomy 79 market. Deuteronomy 79 market. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. The faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments mm -hmm. to a thousand generations. Thank you. Are you listening to me? Amen. I love this to you better. Numbers 23, 19. When you question the qualification of God, Numbers 23, 19 tells you, God is not man mm -hmm. that he should lie, mm -hmm. nor the son of man mm -hmm. that he should change his mind. Mm -hmm. Has he said, and will he not do it? Or has he spoken, and will it not be fulfilled? Mm -hmm. My word shall not come back void. Whatever I said to do, it will accomplish my will. Because I am God, and I'm God all by myself. If I said, I meant it. Amen. All you got to do is believe in it. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, God said, God said it. Take it to the bank. Take it to the bank. Amen. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Moreover, 1 Corinthians 14. Moreover, it is required of servants that they be found trustworthy. More, you must be trustworthy. Amen. To whom much is given, much is required. Amen. If you can't do a little job, there's no need to ask for a bigger job. Okay. If you can't manage the little money you got now, don't ask for a promotion. Somebody ain't listening. I love to see you. If I win the lottery, I'm going to get myself a new car, a new house, a new wife. <laughs> we got all planned out. Hmm? Then you never go hit the lottery. All right. Well, then. See, when we were younger, we thought money ruled everything. Amen. Money has its place. Mm -hmm. But to have a whole lot of money and bad health won't do you no good. Amen. Right. Amen. In other words, when you ask God now, you can someone say to you, which one would you rather have a lot of money or good health? Good health. If you are wise. <laughs> if you are smart. You will say good if. Amen. Right. Oh, somebody is with me. Amen. First of all, Jesus tells us, with men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Yeah, you they say all things are possible with God. All things are possible. Amen. As long as they work according to his will. To his will. Yeah. His will. What God gave you, uh -huh. use it correctly. Yes. Thank you. Be there when you're supposed to be. Yes. Be faithful. Yes. And now be on time. Come on, somebody. Amen. Say somebody, say somebody, be on time. Be on time. Next Sunday, I'm going to be on time. On time. Oh, somebody said on time. <laughs> I said next Sunday, say somebody, be church on time. <laughs> Amen. 
Amen. See how we quickly change things up <laughs> to fit our need. All right. God says to tell you, I need no cowardly soldier. Right, but when I lead you in the battle, uh -huh. the battle going to get heavy sometimes. Yes. And if you got to know that you're going to follow me regardless of the situation, don't look behind you because yesterday is gone. Keep your eye focused on me. Because when you do and focus on me, great is your faithfulness because my faithfulness will lead you to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Be on time. Be a help. Look at somebody say, be a help. Not a hindrance. Not a hindrance. Whatever you call us to do, be faithful. Remember when times get hard, be faithful. Remember when they look at you funny, be faithful. Remember when they say you can't do it. Remind them that God is your God and great is his faithfulness. You don't know how you're going to get there, but you're going to stay on the promises that God gave you. Stay faithful this morning. And when you're faithful, each morning you say, when I'm alive to see a brand new day, great is your faithfulness. When I'm all by myself and no one wants to communicate with me, great is your faithfulness. You brought my family together. I may not like what's going on in my family, but you gave us another chance to get it right. And because you gave us another chance, I'm going to exalt you, Lord, because love covers a multitude of sin. Amen. Love covers a multitude of sin. Thank you. Preacher, what you talking about? Yeah, man, they beat him all night long. Yeah, man, yeah, man, they woke him up early that next morning, took him home to the cross, and hung him from the sixth to the ninth hour. But love kept him right there. He could have got down any time, but it was love that kept him right there. Because of his faithfulness to God, for this reason came I into the world, that redeemed the world and bring it back to you. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. Amen. Amen. Faithfulness. Yes. Whatever you do, be faithful. Mm -hmm. Be faithful. The devil is trying to kill you. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's trying to take your dreams. Yes. Uh -huh. He's trying to take everything that you have. Amen. But only one thing you can do, you got to know how to stomp that rascal on his head. All right. You got to know the words that make them tremble. Yes. You got to know the word that get him off your path. Jesus. And then, and then there's a name above all names. Yes. And that's that name the Bible says demons tremble. Yes. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Get thee behind me. Behind me. No, I'm not calling for it this time. Thank you. I'm going to work right here in yes. the vineyard. Yes. I'm keeping my hands in God's hands. Yes. Great. Faithfulness. And when you are faithful, when you are faithful, you will hear these words. Well done. My good and faithful servant. Yes, Lord. That's what I'm working for. Amen. That's what I'm working for. Thank you. So I tell folks. Whether you sure the church or not, I'm going to be on my job. All right. You ain't bragging with me. Right. Whether you come or not, All right. I'm going to be on my job. Yes. Because I made a promise to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I want my blessings. All right, now. Are you listening to me? Yes. I'm faithful. Not that I'm that good, but I'm faithful. And this is what you want to hear God say. Well done. Well done. When all been said and done, when they bring you here, they all these flowers out. They do not do you any good to hear these words. Depart from me. For I know you not. Depart from me. I know you not. I want to hear him say, Well done. Amen. 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 May God bless you and have a smile and thank you. Great is that thing. God is faithful. Thank you, He always will be. If those who are watching, remember God is faithful. Whatever you promise God, you need to fulfill your promise to God. Yes. Amen. Amen. We worry about somebody else. Quit blaming somebody else. 
God would hold nobody else accountable for what he called you to do. Amen? All right. And I encourage you all, whatever job God gave you in the church to do, I'll buy you to do it. I'll buy you to do it. I'll buy you to do it. Because God is a God that you don't want to bring to him. For those who have not said to Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. If you ask you to pray this prayer with me now. Father God, forgive me. Yes. Restore me. Yes, Lord. Right now, I give myself to you. <coughs> that you may use me yes. for the building of your kingdom. I accept your son Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father. Thank you. For all your blessings. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And go to a church. Join the church, the local church. Be baptized. If you're not a member of this church, come on. We will use you. It's always work to be done. Amen? Amen. God bless you. And have a smile upon you. Amen.